My name is Erin Shortledge and I am an assistant professor of biology in the Department of Biology at Portland State University and my research lab is the Biology Education Research Lab. As the PI of the NSF STEM project, which is the title of the project is something along the lines of um, introducing cures and collaboration to reduce transfer shock in STEM students. Um, and so this is an NSF funded project and most of the funding goes towards supporting students who transfer to PSU. Um, what we are, who we are looking at are students of all different STEM backgrounds who are high achieving, low income, mostly underrepresented students transferring from two year colleges into Portland State University. And the idea is that we provide academic, social, um, and institutional support monetary support, of course, for students to succeed in STEM. And so our effort is to give them support to succeed. And so far, uh, they seem to be doing great. We have our first cohort and 80% of them to 100 at this point have either been placed in research labs or internships in their field of interest. The intention of that grant, the STEM grant, is to really alleviate the stress of going from a two-year to a four-year institution and just give them anything and everything they need to succeed and graduate from PSU with the STEM degree that they want. A course-based undergraduate research experience, or a CURE, is a lab class that is not one of those traditional labs, but instead students are working on real research projects that are tied to oftentimes a faculty member's research question. And so the work that can be done in a CURE through students is actually contributing to the broader um, scientific literature and knowledge field. So oftentimes an undergraduate student can't get into a research lab because it often takes a certain amount of social and science and cultural capital to know how to approach a research lab and then be the student that gets chosen to be mentored in an independent research lab. And so a cure is a great way to mitigate that kind of inequity in who gets to experience research. And getting to experience research may be the thing that gets a student hooked in, in science or at least gets the skills um, that I think doing real research can provide. But the idea was to turn a junior cluster class into um, which is required for all students, so not adding to their workload, but turn a junior cluster class into a cure or a course-based research experience, which is something that the students can um, hopefully move forward with as they, as they go on. So some will continue with this research um, and they will all have gotten the experience of working on a real research project aligned with faculty members' work here at PSU. I'm, we're hoping that it can be a model for what these junior clusters and senior capstone type courses at PSU can look like, where we're really um, letting PSU and the city you know, serve one another, using the research at PSU and having students be involved in this work. And so hopefully the CURE model for the STEM cohort is something that the university can move forward with. What we're hoping to gain is that we understand what students need to succeed and whether or not providing that sense of belonging and the things that we're doing in an attempt to give them that sense of belonging um, and that self-efficacy towards I can succeed in science if these things that we're doing are uh, working and if they're not what can we do to improve them. My name is Erin Shortledge and as a biology education researcher my primary goal is to understand best practices in teaching and learning in biology.